Hello everybody, it's Princess Bear here and we're back at Epcot on this blustery day for Rose and Crown. Yes, it's been almost a year now. It's been a little over a year, slightly over. So it's time for a re a re review? Re re. A re 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 review. Re 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 review. Yes. Basically, I'm craving some pub style food, so we're gonna go in and get some grub. Be sure to UK? You heard the girl. I don't I don't you don't UK the UK? The U? No, no, they Brexited. Okay, Somebody, somebody's going to correct us for this in the comments, I'm sure. So, uh, we're hungry. <laughs> we have the Welch Dragon. This um, usually comes in a souvenir cup. Ooh, can for it without. Mmm. You can taste the pineapple in that cherry. This is so nice. It does have pineapple in it, but you can barely taste it with the lemon or the uh, melon liqueur and the creme de menthe. This is really good. Four out of five melons. This is a good mixed drink. Mm -hmm. yeah, it should be fine. So here we have this uh, Ninja Turtles and the Ooze looking mixture here. Uh, it's probably not going to give me any powers to turn me into a turtle anymore than I already am, rather. But, uh, well, it's Dragon. It's Dragon -y. Ooh. That is definitely greater than some of its parts. I was worried the princess would hate this because of the pineapple with the melon with pork. But they actually mix well together, make like a nice to drink refreshing cocktail. This is good. This you can definitely have a few of these. Four to five plus. We have a black and tan. Black velvet. Black velvet. I feel like Barry gets these every single time we come to Rose and Crown or the pub. Tastes like beer. It's got a nice like, you know, tape flavor going on here. Got the two, the cider and all that. I'll give it a three to five pops. So yes, we're at uh, Rosen again, and yes, I ordered another black velvet. Something about Guinness and cider, I just can't resist. This is by far my favorite drink here. And they make it just right. Super dark and super smooth, just like me. Kidding, but still super tasty. Five out of five pause. If you come in here, you want a drink, you want a beer, you want to try something different, I will always suggest this. This is always on my bread and chest. Okay, we're Coronation salad. Don't usually get a salad here at Rosen Crown, and the waitress said it was vegan, so. We're here to try it. Interesting, huge pile. A bunch of dried fruit. Cheers to eating your veggies. Hmm. Dressing is interesting. The dried fruit really um, gives it like a sweetness. It almost feels like it's like a mustardy dressing. It's good. Um, two out of five salads. We have a delicious looking pile of green rabbit food here with fruits and tomatoes and a good bit of onions. I love the dried fruit. I will never refuse dried fruit in a salad. I mean, the princess can have like a mixed sort of view on that, but uh, I like the added like natural sweetness. It looks reasonably dressed, just this side of the good side of uh, swimming. Let's see how this tastes. Mmm. Okay. The dressing has a little bit of tang to it. But the 
the onions sort of add that, and then the raisins sort of add a, um, a little bit of sweetness to balance it out. I don't know. It's a good salad. It's an appetizer. I would definitely get this. And actually, I'm kind of jealous now that Princess got it, and I didn't. Four out of five plus. There's a whole chip under here. Which it does say on the menu that it, the, the lettuce is on top of like a chip. So I thought it was going to be like a small amount. This is like a huge chip. An actual chip, not like the chip you would get in a UK. Because that would be weird to put salad on top of chips. I swear, I know how to fork. There we go. I got it. I got it. It's a little baby piece. I keep dropping this madras dressing down there. My shirt. I'm wearing white today. It's alright. It's not horrible. It's a little soft, obviously, because it's covered in salad. It tastes like a tortilla. Like a crisp tortilla. For food this time, I was trying to get all new things. Uh, I couldn't remember if I'd ever gotten a scotch egg here before, but if I have, you guys just get to see it again. So you have like this uh, deep fried parboiled egg with some salt and pepper on it on this like bed of lettuce with some uh, dressing beneath it. It's definitely a nice presentation. Cuts fairly easily. Get some of the dressing on there, get some of the leaves. Mm. Oh. It's definitely unique te texture-wise. I like the fried outside. The hard boiled egg is perfect. The salt and pepper is just enough without being too much. And the dressing just makes that perfect. That's good. It's a four and a half out of five plus. Definitely don't regret it in that. and mash, bangers and mash. These bangers and mash actually look way better than the ones we had the last time. Definitely check out the description box because this is like their fourth video. Here at Rose and Crown, we've gotten the vegan fish and chips. We've gotten the impossible hot pot. We've gotten this before too, but this is one of my favorites. So here we go, I'm gonna dive in. Cut this Beyond Beef, or Beyond Sausage with some gravy and some mashed potatoes. Oh. Mm. oh yeah. This definitely hits the spot. And with some peas. Unseasoned peas work perfect. This whole dish was leaps and bounds better than the last time that I had this. I'm gonna give this a four out of five. Fingers and mash. So the infamous bangers and mash from Rosal Crown. You hear all the plant-based vlogs, blogs, pages talking about this. This is probably the most pretty I've ever seen displayed on a plate, as a regular meal should be. Two humongous logs of Beyond Sausage, just ridiculous pool of gravy, the mash, and then some peas because you can never have enough peas. Get it submerged in a little bit of that gravy. Get some mashed potatoes here. A couple of chives off the top. Yes. That's the extra that make Beyond Meat sausage. Beyond Meat on its own is average good best, but it's the little touches that make it better. The green onion, the delicious gravy with the mash. If you didn't tell anybody, they might never know. That is ridiculously tasty. Four and a half out of five plus. Then you have the peas. And I'm not a huge pea fan myself, but they are here. In this case, the peas understood the assignment and they match well as a side with the bangers and mash. All in all, I'm going to leave the plate at a four and a half and a five claws. 
your plant based, you want to come here for nice drinks, and some good food, Rose and Crown will take care of you. And they have a ridiculous number, not a ridiculous, but far more options than most places to offer you guys. Fair proofs. I am obsessed with mushy peas since I had them here for the first time. I tried to make them at home. They were not as good as these. Here we go. Mm. They're so perfectly creamy and warm. I love mushy peas so much. I wish I had like the, the secret to making them taste this good and flavorful. Mmm. I've had a five peas. Mm. It's a reason to come to Rose and Crown. It's just for the mushy peas. I swear by them. It's on my princess necessities list, if there was one. Just cannot avoid these mushy peas. Now, I know that we have people in the community over the pond. One of you probably has some sort of recipe for mushy peas to sate her appetite. Please get that to us. They are definitely mushy. Oh yeah, that's good. That's so much better than we did at home. I think the problem at home is that we could not find the right kind of peas. I went to like three different grocery stores and couldn't find the right ones. Like this is like perfect consistency, perfect flavor. This would be perfect on a cold day if we ever had those here. Three and a half and a five plus. One more. Magical grab bag here. Who we got? In there? No, that's not it. Not it. Also not it. Hmm. Now, I decided to get the catch of the day. Chef recommended. Uh, but it comes with a heaping lop dollop of butter. It's probably going to be uh, a couple magic pill dish for me. You just need a nice grill marks from the salmon, the butter all melted here, some uh, sweet snap peas on top of a mountain of mesh. Now, the portion is definitely bigger than I was expecting. So I'm not mad about that. But being a bear, and having spent a lot of my time in Alaska, as a child, rather, I'm very judgy on my salmon. Oh yes, flaky. I don't even know I picked up the knife. Mm. Oh yes. It's got the super crisp outside, which you usually find with like skin on salmon. But it's still like super flaky and flavorful on the inside. But it just helps accentuate that like crunchy outside. It matches the perfect paying for it. That is probably some of the best salmon I've had on property. I'm giving that a four and a half out of five plus. Wasn't so much butter. Other than that, I think it's absolutely delicious. We have these little peas down here, kind of like making like a little moat around it. Average side, they don't exactly hurt with this. Two and a half out of five plus. Overall, it is a four and a half dish. This has been a solid day for Rose and Crown. I was definitely not expecting to enjoy the food here that much. Mm. Not my first sleeping leprechaun without the souvenir glass, but I had to get it. I have so many videos where I drink this. It's usually my go-to mixed drink when I don't want beer. It's got a nice like flavor to it with a light carbonation because of the Sprite. That's a four out of five left puns for me. I like those. More green ooze drink. This time named after Leprechaun. Which feels slightly offensive, but I wouldn't know. Either way, what's the worst could happen? I'm not sure what Sprite always throws me off. I know what to expect. You've had this tons of times, but it makes me feel a little diluted, is the word. Because the Sprite's not strong enough, but then the mix isn't strong enough. It's an okay drink. I think I prefer the Welch Dragon better, though. Three out of five plus. 
I always confuse the black velvet and the black and tan. Maybe that's because Bear usually gets those two the most. So now we have the black and tan. It tastes better than the Yingling bottle of black and tan, that's for sure. Um, it's a little on the heavy side, I think, for beer, so I would give it three out of five hops. If you like heavy, hoppy beers, this is the beer for you. Not so much for me. More weird Irish beer combinations. This time a black and tan. Guinness with a lighter lager and uh, probably my second favorite beer combination here. This can't be beat. A nice mix of beers. Very smooth, enhances them both. This doesn't happen with every beer, but these. You buy me one of these in the end of the week. Three and a half out of five plus. Rose and Crown is always full of surprises. It just keeps getting better every single time we come, come here, I feel. It's consistent elevation. I was definitely had low expectations going in. Me too. And was pleasantly surprised how solid the food is. Agreed. Our service still continues to be a bright point, and uh, we would definitely recommend coming here if you get the yes. chance. Yes. You have like, what, four vegan options that you can eat here, which is way more than others except for like maybe Spice Road Table and Beer Garden and a few others that have maybe more. And with the dinner and dessert parties coming back, it's going to be a prime place to watch Harmonies when it starts October 1st. Yes, true. So uh, we definitely know what you think of Rose of Crown in the comments. If you think there's a better spot on uh, World Showcase to watch fireworks, let us know down below. And hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this and... We have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. I like this video so that we can keep eating the foods because this costs a lot of money. It do though. Hello everybody, Prince the Bear here. We're back in Epcot. And we'll drop the cards.